To start this sequence, I've added an outer circle to this Rocket Science logo. Rather than it having a two-point stroke, I want it to become a dotted line. Here's how. Make sure the circle is selected. If you're working with the Essentials workspace, you can go to the Properties panel and then click the Stroke option in the Appearance pane to show the Flyout Stroke panel. Illustrator has never been particularly user-friendly when it comes to dotted lines. I'll do this step by step so that you understand how you end up with the dotted line. First, I'll bump up the point size to about three point. Then I'll click the dashed line checkbox. You can set up quite sophisticated complex dash gap, dash gap, dash gap patterns for dashed lines, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to use only the first dash gap fields in this example. I'll leave the dash to begin with set to 12 point. When you set up a dashed line, if you use only the first dash field, you'll get an equal gap, essentially 12 point. So for example, I could enter 12 point for the gap, but you'll see there's no need. The result is the same. I'll delete that gap. Next thing I'll do is set the cap style to round cap. You'll immediately see how that affects the dashes. They now have rounded ends. There's two things left to do. I'll set the dash to zero. In a second, you'll see that what I end up with is essentially two round caps making a circle with no line or dash in between the round end caps. What you'll see then is when I enter a gap value, I'll start with 12 point, there's the result. A gap of 12 point, a dash of zero, but the rounded caps forming the circles. Then it's just a matter of changing the gap to four point, or six point, or whatever gap you require. Must dash, hope to see you again soon. Please like the like if you like. And thanks for watching.